Welcome to the House of IT's video tutorials about Windows Server 2012 R2. Note that the only difference between the Windows Server 2012 R1 and Windows Server 2012 R2 is the start button which is present in R2 and not in R1. There are also new features like highlights, work folders, desired state configurations, storage tiring, storage pinning, write back caching, duplication of running VMS, parallel rebuild, workplace join, multi tenant VPN gateway, and many more. I'm going to show you how to install and configure Windows Server 2012. Windows Server 2012 may be the best version of Windows Server. It is user friendly and is a great stepping stone for new users of Windows Server. These tutorials will tackle installation and configuration of servers, including planning for upgrades, installations, and server roles, introduction to server core, and basic PowerShell functions. Then we'll tackle modification of installation, which includes server conversion and performing minimal server installation. We'll also teach you server core, a remote server administration but without the graphic user interface. Active Directory Management is also included in this tutorial, which is very important because it is the foundation of Windows Server. It includes differences between various domain structures, creating and using domain controller, working with different user accounts and organizational units, and joining computers to the domain. Then we'll tackle account automation. It quickly creates multiple number of accounts, which is useful in software testing, in lab and classroom environment, or in HR department. We'll also teach you about working with different groups and group policy objects, or GPO. We'll teach you the essentials on how or why we use GPOs. Also, multiple level group policy objects for computers with multiple users. Which then brings us to Central Store, which is useful for software maintenance and updates. Another important thing that we need to discuss about GPO is the scope of management. Windows Server 2012 also gives us new preferences and starter GPOs, which are very useful especially to those new users of Windows Server. It also contains security settings and templates, including application of multiple security settings. After that, we'll teach you the different ways of doing a software lockdown, including its advantage and disadvantages. There's also the group policy object for Windows Firewall, which is easy to administer and expands the reach of its effect. The next part of the tutorial is about network configuration, IP version 4, subnetting, IP address reading. It also includes IP version 6, which may be quite troublesome because of its hex values. And then there's DHCP and DNS server configuration, which are essential for network identification and network communication. We'll also teach you network virtualization using Hyper-V. And then we'll teach you new ways of managing local storages, plus file security and access permissions. And lastly, this tutorial will teach you about additional storages, working offline among others, and printer configuration in a network. So sit back and I hope you learn a lot in this tutorial. For more videos, check out this link right here.